I really hope that you are going to enjoy this short time we spend here together. I certainly will. Welcome to Mob Farm Bedrock Edition Part 1. Make mob farms work in bedrock. I will soon release a video on my new mob farm design and the purpose of this video is to give you the tips and tools to make it work like a charm in bedrock survival. But even if you're here because of general interest in mob farms, don't get your mob farm to work or want to design your own mob farm, I will hereby try to satisfy you all. First of all, I will give you some basic tips and explanations on the mob spawning side of things. A chunk. The world is divided into a lot of chunks. Some people say a chunk is 16 by 16 square, but it's not that simple. So when I'm talking about chunks in this video, I will mean from the bottom of bedrock up to build the limit. It's a huge area. Realm Ticking Area This is the player ticking area in Realms for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Outside of this area nothing will despawn, nothing will grow and no animal mobs will grow up. Pretty much nothing will happen outside of this area around the player. This is really important to know when we are talking about the different mob caps. Global cap Global cap is a cap on 200 which includes all mobs in all ticking areas hostile as well as animal That means that if you are three players logged on to a realm all the mobs in those three players ticking areas will add up to the global mob cap Bread animals Mob spawn from monster spawners and mob spawn from spawn eggs all count against the global mob cap. End of discussion. Density check area. When the game tries to spawn in a hostile mob, it will together with other spawns also check a 9x9 chunk area around the chunk where the spawn attempt occurs for hostile mobs. These hostile mobs are divided into two different caps. Surface density cap and cave density cap. In the overworld, the density caps for surface mobs are 8 and for cave mobs 8. This means that you can only have 8 surface mobs and 8 cave mobs in this huge area. If you want to know more about this, check out Gruva Guy's video and read the Minecraft wiki mob spawning page and if you are really into this kind of stuff, check in JX67's video on mob spawning, all linked in the description. So, let's get on with the mob farm preparation. First of all, you wanna find your chunks and build your farm chunk aligned. This will make you a much smaller area to work with and you will know exactly how much you need to spawn proof. You will also know that all of the farm is within your ticking area. With coordinates you can use a chunk finder to easily find your chunks. Without coordinates I would highly suggest that you take a look at Foxy Note's video where he uses a redstone clock connected to a redstone lamp to find his chunk borders. Link in the description. Next we need to make sure that your 8 surface mobs are actually spawning inside of your farm. So mark the outer perimeter of the density check area all around the outer part of your farm. Which means 4 chunks out. Mob proof the whole thing by slabbing it or lighting it up and you should see surface spawns inside of your farm. There's also a good idea to build a wall or a fence outside of your farm's density check area so that you won't have any mobs walking into the area. So let's get on with the cave spawns. Warning, only for really dedicated mob farmers. If you're not really, and I mean really dedicated, build a mob farm based only on surface cap mobs. Okay, what you have to do is light up the caves. Which sounds much easier 
then it's done. Because a Minecraft generated world usually contains a fair amount of small caves or even 5x5 five five holes. Those will be perfect spawning spots for the mobs that you want in your farms and they won't despawn until you get there and light it up. So how do I find those? If you have the possibility to make a world download, you should totally watch Foxy No Tales video again on how to find caves. Link in the description. If not, you would probably want to have your own base in the area so that you naturally encounter most of the caves when mining for diamonds and other goodies. You would also be good on stacking up on a lot of invincibility or night vision potions so you can press a TNT into your head once in a while to see where the mobs are gathering up. I'm fully aware that I present a good amount of cheaty things here, but all I want for you beloved ones is to be able to build my mob farms and actually get a good amount of drops from it. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell if you want to know exactly when my mob farm will get out. See you!